now important large nerves seen in this compartment they are median now which can palpate behind the medial epicondyle of humerus sorry median now is seen in the front of the elbow ulnar now passes behind the medial epicondyle of ulna and radial now is passes behind the shaft of radius ultimately all the three nerves are arising from the brachial plexus and pass through this and then all the three nerves are seen into the forearm now posterior compartment of the arm there is the only one large muscles of this compartment is known as tricep muscles as the name suggests it's having a three head this is long head this is lateral head and medial head medial and lateral head is respectively takes origin from the upper and lower part of radial groove on posterior aspect of humerus we know there is the radial groove through which the profunda brachii artery and radial nerve is passes the lateral head is above to this groove and medial head is below this groove and long head is takes origin from the infraglenoid tubercle of scapula now long and lateral head initially fuse with each other and deep to this there is medial head and ultimately all the three head is combined to make a tendon and it's inserted into a olecranon process of the ul so this is the origin and insertion of the this muscles now supplied it supplied by the radial now and functions is it is the strongest extensor of this elbow joint radial now important now is seen in this compartment actually the radial now is passes into the substance of this or between the medial and lateral head of the tricep and then this nose is crossing from lateral to medial side and at the elbow is again pierce the lateral intermuscular septum and seen into the front of uh, elbow joint and then it runs into the arm now detail about radial now it is the largest branch of posterior cord of brachial plexus it's arises from brachial plexus its root value is c5 678 t1 in lower part of axilla now is runs along with the third part of axillary artery that's why anteriorly there is the artery and nerves is passing behind the artery posteriorly it is supported by the subscapularis latissimus dorsi and teres major muscles laterally artery is having axillary now and coraco brachialis and medially there is axillary vein in lower part again it goes down side and then it runs into the arm and continues behind the brachial artery between the along with the profunda brachii artery and then between the long head of the tricep and between the another it enters into the radial groove with profunda brachii but in the radial groove nerves runs downwards and laterally between the lateral and medial head between lateral and medial head and then pierce the lateral intermuscular septum as we have discussed then it's running like that and seen into the front of elbow mainly it gives the branches to the muscular cutaneous and articular the muscular branches before piercing the spiral groove before piercing the spiral groove it supplies the long and medial head of triceps in the spiral groove it supplies the enconius and medial head of the tricep muscles and below the after passing through this groove it supplies in the front the brachialis muscles brachioradialis muscles and extensor carpi radialis longus it gives the two cutaneous nerves in the arm it gives posterior cutaneous nerve of arm and in radial groove it gives lower lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm 
and it also supplies the elbow joint as a articular branch. Applied anatomy regarding this. So many causes to compress the nerve, the accidents or fracture of the mid of the shaft of humerus. Sometimes there is compression of this nerve in the armchair. It is Saturday night palsy or crutch palsy. In, in any of these cases, there is compression of nerves and there is weakness of the extensor and sometimes can be take place as wrist drop. This is about radial nerve. Profunda brachii artery, one of the largest branch. Here you can see this is one of the largest branch of the brachial artery is profunda. Then this profunda brachii artery runs behind the shaft of humerus along with the radial nerve in lower triangular space and then on lateral aspect it gives the two important branches anterior and posterior descending branches which take first in formations of anastomosis of the elbow joint thank you